What up? Real quick. So I've gotten quite a bit of re response from my food cost calculator. Again, it is online on my link in my bio behind a paywall. The, the cost for this goes directly to my business. Okay. Again, let's run down the item of your dish on this side. This would be like whatever goes into your components. This is like the spec to whatever your dish is. Now, these two numbers is what I want you to pay attention to. Really important is the cost of the case or per, per each and in the unit of which you get the case. So for this example, a case of ramen noodles is 35. You get 50 in there. The formula is this divided by this and you get this price. Okay. This is just a redundancy. I keep it for like price last week. So let's see. You'll, you'll know if it increases or not. Okay. You plug all your details in. You get your main total. This is how much your disc costs to make. This is your forecasted sale, meaning this is what you're going to guess what your food cost uh, or the, the final number of your dish. And this will give you the actual food cost percentage of the guess that you made. OK, so let's say you originally it was like 10 bucks, right? And that's you at 46 percent. You're like, oh, that's way too low. Let's increase it to 17, which I had before, and that gives you a 27%. Okay, does that make sense? I've used this calculator for years. On all my menu items, I have this calculator to do all of my spec. This way I know per cost and be really specific. Uh, I also put overhead in there. My overall, like uh, my rent, uh, my to-go containers, um, gas, literally everything. That way you can spec it out. So um, your bowl or whatever, your dish can make you profit because if you don't think about it in the big picture like that you're losing money i'm just saying